Okay, once again, we'll have a video You'll hear about um, how the crystal blue cell doesn't use water as a medium for uh, transfer. Um, other batteries out there, other batteries that call, uh, are called crystal cells, uh, use water. and They don't work unless they have water in them. By working, I mean they don't get any voltage and or amps till you add some water to it get it moist with water um, but this is about um, showing that my crystal cell my crystal glue cell uh, we can throw in the stove top cell and the pressure cell and the copper tube cell uh, pretty much all the cells I've been working on my main strive was to make cells crystal cells that didn't use water as the median for um, transfer I mean, basically, my cells don't need water to work. They work when dry. And I did this experiment scientifically, the uh, showing that they don't use water. And what we got here is this: I uh, on October 24, 2012, around 8:30 a.m., I made uh, one, two, three, four, five cells, five glue cells. Uh, right here is the main glue cell this is my crystal glue cell it's made up of glue Elmer's uh, water based glue Epsom salt and salt substitute as what I call the crystal glue cell and this is what this experiment was about she's the uh, star of the show right here then I also made a cell with just glue and keep in mind the electrodes for all these cells were copper and magnesium all the same length um, and all the same material so copper and magnesium were the electrodes. So I made a a uh, glue only cell right there. Uh, this this row is glue only. Over here I did glue and salt substitute. And this row I did uh, glue and Epsom salt. And of course the crystal glue cell is right there. Um, then at the very end, I just did glue and regular old table salt just to have something to compare it to because I've seen people use table salt on the glue, uh, but I knew that never worked because I did I actually did this test before, uh, actually last year, and I already knew what to expect. Um, but of course, uh, the very next day is when I started taking recordings of the uh, cells. And the very next day, um, they all are alive because they're all still wet. Um, I want you guys to play close attention to this right here. This is the glue and Epsom salt cell. Um, basically, what I'm trying to point out here is that people always say that either A, the glue never fully dries. It traps water. It never fully dries. It could be years and there's still trapped water. Um, that's point A. That's what people say. Um, and if they just did these experiments like I have, they would clearly see what I see, but they are, they don't, and they just say whatever to prove their point, which is wrong. And I got the data right here in front of you to show you that. But and point B, uh, people say, well, Epsom salt contains water. Yes, yes, it does. Epsom salt and glue both contain water. Um, see, the thing is that Epsom salt contains water in the molecule form. It's not leaking, it's not sweating, it's just trapped. And the glue, I mean, anybody with whoever mopped a floor will know that, hey, water eventually evaporates. And you see, the reason why glue works so well is that glue dries. If glue never dried, it, we would never be using it. And I want you to pay close attention to this one, this glue and episode one. Because the two thing, main things people say about my cells working because they trap water. Either from the glue is trapping water or the Epsom salt is trapping water somehow. I want you to pay close attention to this one. Um, and uh, the, uh, let's see, uh, 26, two days later, or, uh, yeah, um, uh, we get some noticeable decay in cells. Um, by second day, I mean glue only cells are decaying. Uh, at uh, next day or uh, yeah, the 26, um, it's over. It's under a volt. The salt substitute cell is doing okay. It's at 1.408 volts. 
uh, Epsom Salt and Glue Cell. Actually, it started off live very sweet. The, the first day, uh, the first reading was uh, 1.6, the highest of all the cells. So it's very water, uh, very wet that time. But and the uh, uh, crystal glue cell pretty much stays in the same ballpark throughout the whole test. And the table saw did a, actually pretty well, I would say. Uh, it held its ground pretty well. Um, but here's something I want you guys to notice is that this is the uh, D row, the uh, glue Epsom salt only cell. And um, it's dead uh, by the 30th. And from now on, it's going to be reading zero volts. And I want to point that out because people say, oh, the glue, oh, the glue and the Epsom salt, all oh, the trap water, oh, blah, 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 water, water, water. Um, but in, in fact, it's the. Uh, Glue and Epsom you would think to make the best cell and actually make the worst cell because by um, the fifth or the sixth day it's pretty much at zero volts. Um, it's been, it just decays. I mean, there's a sharp fall off on the 26. I mean, it's on, on the 26, it's almost at half a volt. So it's 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 the worst cell of all of them. Uh, next worst cell is just a glue only cell, which people say, oh, glue traps water, blah blah blah. Oh, uh, there's water trapped underneath that glue. It takes years for glue to dry. Oh, um, today that glue only cell is only reading 0 0.009 volts. It started off at 1.45 when wet, but when glue dries, which it does, it's at 0 0.009. And you can see today is that all these cells, the salt substitute cell now is at 0 0.083 volts. The Epsom salt cell is at 0 volts. And the salt cell, table salt cell, there is at one a point one nine two but the crystal glue cell of course is managing above one point three volts while all these other cells have all died off to some degree um like epsalt zero they're all pretty much near close to zero except for the table salt which is under two hundred millivolts which is pretty much dead in comparison to anything um the crystal glue cell still manages above 1.3 volts and it's going to hold around there for I don't know so far the longest running cell I have is uh, over one and a half years old and it's still going actually here's one that's been shorted out since uh, last year and it's doing just fine it'll bounce back up to uh, 1.3 volts around there but today the crystal glue cell is at 1.384 volts. This morning it was actually at 1.401 volts. Um, I don't know why it fluctuates, but it does. Uh, I actually have a chart over here. It's probably better for people to see. Uh, see the. Um, we'll start off with the glue only cell, which is orange. Start off here, and they all all decayed. The green is the. Uh, Epsom salt and glue cell, and it just decayed right off. Uh, the yellow is uh, glue and salt substitute, and it just decayed right off. And um, the blue is the um, table salt, and it decayed right off. And this up here, up here, all by itself, the brown one is the crystal glue cell, which keeps on chugging along. And this is video is proving the point that glue does dry. Okay, these cells, the crystal glue cell is basically, it's not using, it's not using water as the median. All these other cells use water. And when the water went away, the cell died off. So now this raises a new question. What does the crystal glue cell use as a median? I don't know. I got some theory I'm working on. Uh, and it's pretty promising theory. But I'm not saying it right now because I just want to study it more. I mean, it's it's when you start looking at it, it becomes painfully obvious what the median is or could be. But it, that's just for a later video. And I'm quite getting irritated by the whole fact that people say my cells don't work unless you have water. My cells need water. My cells, my my cells personally me I'd be pointless too you will say my cells only work because of water when I clearly show the data and you can do this you can do this experiment at home too 
uh, this data I'll have available, you can see for yourself. It, it clearly shows that the crystal glue cell does not need water. I don't know how to make it any more painfully obvious to people, but they always say, I don't know. And I made several cells that don't need water to work. So it's just not like, it's like it's like it's one cell in the wild. I mean, there's more than one. It takes only one white crow to prove that not all crows are black. And I got several white crows right here. And I don't understand why the people just say what they say. And, and the lack of caring by most. I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure not very many people will be watching this video, but... At least I get my point across, and it's out there. Uh, I mean, I didn't mean for this video to be this long, but the crystal glue cell doesn't use water as needed. You can you can you can stop the video and you can look for yourself, or I'll have a link for the the data here soon, um, so you can look for yourself. It's it's all right here. I mean, it can't be any more clear. I mean, look at it. There's your crystal glue cell. There's the lawn right there. And it's staying constant. While the, all the other cells just fade off to zero. Uh, I just don't understand. So the new question is, what is the, what, what's the median that the crystal glue cells uh, ha has? Um, if you think you know, um, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, I mean, it's all about sharing, and I've shared how to make these cells, I mean, they're there, I mean, if you think you know what, um, what's the median, I'm, I'm glad to hear it, uh, any viewpoints or any comments or questions, I do, uh, I do read them and I look forward to them, so, uh, thank you guys.